Welcome to fishing with the Power Fishing Pro Hybrid Electric Fishing Reel with Dan Galusha, inductee to the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame. Today, Dan will be demonstrating jerkworm fishing with the Power Fishing Pro Reel. Today we're going to be talking about jerkworms or jerk shad in this case. You can see why. It looks like a shad. It's also called a shad. This is a shad color. I'm using a butt dragger hook and it's a bleeding bait copperhead one. And I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as the bleeding bait and the copperhead. The bleeding bait is the red. That's the same color as fish blood. And I'll explain in a bit why I'm using that. The copperhead part is this screw attachment right here. I screw this into this screw area. Then there's a slot right underneath here. The hook goes right into that slot and it comes out the top. There's a lot of plastic here, so you want to make sure that you have a lot of extra bite, and that slot helps you a lot. The bleeding bait, the reason that I use this is because it gives the same color as if it's a dying shad and you have a strip of blood or the gill flash that you have a lot in the fish. The butt dragger, what that does for that is it gives it more of a keel. It'll weight it down, it'll let it drop further, and it will hold it more stable so that when you're jerking it, it goes like this. The other style, like this, is just a straight one. This gives the shad more of a flip back and forth, up and down and all around, much more so than it will with this butt dragger. There's a lot of colors, just like any other soft plastics. The best ones that I have found is the one just like this, which is just a regular old shiner type color. This one down here is called an Arkansas shiner. And I'll also use a white. So as you can see, I'm basically mimicking any of the bait fish that you're gonna be seeing down there. This is an easy bait to use with a power reel like this. Because all you're doing is keeping it down, the rod down, into the hook setting position, and jerking the bait. That's all you want. That bait's going this way and that way down there. And floating downward. It's acting like a crippled bait fish. And if you get the hit, and this is the thing, when the strike comes on it, you shouldn't set the hook. The reason being that you don't want to set the hook right away is because when the fish grabs this, you grab it across the hook just like this. If you set it right away, most of the time, his mouth is just down to here. There's a lot of plastic to set that through. You want to actually see that line start to swim off a little bit, then set the hook. And with a power reel, what you want to do is hit the trigger at the same time that you set the hook. Using these techniques, along with the Power Fishing Pro, you can fish longer without fatigue, have more options and techniques for catching fish, and enjoy fishing even more.